Welcome back to my channel. So here we are again, back in the kitchen, back in the kitchen. Okay, so this week again, guys, FTSE 100. I said that I was gonna introduce swing trading back into my portfolio, and I have. So this is an nice return, 1.6K. And I always say, guys, you've gotta be diverse. You have to be diverse. And this is a good opportunity to explore different avenues in the stock market. You know, yes, I scalp. I scalp the European Open, the US Open, and the US Close. But now I'm reintroducing swinging back into my portfolio i used to do it and it's coming back in but what's key about this is you have to allow the market to create that space so it has to create them highs and it has to create them lows it cannot be the middle ground okay it cannot be mid-range so when you're looking for these opportunities and listen it could only could happen once a week or once a fortnight okay it's happening at the moment because the market is extremely volatile so you must look for them highs and look for these lows so it's a massive rally or a massive sell-off, then you take your opportunity. So guys, before we crack on, make sure that you smash that like button, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you wanna contact me, you can contact me on my Instagram, and that's sambor.00. I also have a website, okay? So if you wanna have a look and see more about what it is that I do, you can have a look at my website. The link is in my bio on my Instagram page. I hope you enjoy this week's video. Okay, so here we go again, the FTSE 100. Okay, so what we're looking at here, there was a massive, massive rally. Okay, so this is 28 minutes into the open. So there was a massive rally, and I looked at, you know, support and resistance, you know, for the previous errors. And because of that rally, you know, I knew that at some point I had to come down. I simply had to come down. You can't have such a rally like that on an open, and then it just stays there all day chances are that it's going to come back down so again you know this is something now that I've started doing recently again just again looking at them opportunities so it's not a case of looking at a stock and saying you know I'm gonna I'm gonna invest in this stock now for the next two or three days that's not what this is about you know my idea now of swing trading is different to where it was you know a year ago so now my idea of swing trading is you know identifying an opportunity and just taking advantage of that opportunity. And this is a perfect example, and you know, and this is what I look for. I look for this space. This space has to be created. If I'm gonna take a swing, it has to be on this kind of um, access of space. Now look at the space that's being created there from the open, all the way up, massive, massive rally. So it simply has to come back down, it has to. Now I can't stay there. And this is how the stock market works, you know, it rallies and then it pulls back and then it dips and then it recovers. And yes, you know, I am a conservative trader and this, yeah, this, would would I say this is a risky um, trade? I wouldn't say it's a risky trade because I've entered after a massive, massive rally. And so, you know, what happens after rally is there has to be some form of a pullback. But this is my strategy going forward in terms of swing trading. You know, as I said, you know, I'm gonna start doing this more and more often now. It's a good opportunity, you know. I actually, <laughs> obviously I've edited this video because this trade goes on for a long, long time. A long, long time, as you'll see. You know, you can see the time up there, the top left, left hand corner. You know, it's half past eight now, but wait until you see how long I actually hold this trade for. A considerable amount of time. I actually went out for a run. Went out for a 10K run, <laughs> came back. And that's the, um, that's the confidence that I had in this trade. That is the confidence that I had in this trade. And that confidence comes from experience. You know, that's what it's all about. As I said, I've been trading for almost two years now. So, you know, I've learned to recognize these opportunities. And, you know, as I said before, you know, the stock market repeats itself time and time and time and time again. So when I see these rallies, you know, these significant rallies and, and these significant sell-offs and dips, you know, I know it's coming at some point. So I don't mind holding these swing trades. As I said, it's a it's a good way to mix up what you're doing. You know, now that I'm a full-time trader, as I was saying, you know, I've got the opportunity to be a little bit more diverse. And that's what you need to do. You have to diversify your portfolio. You know, and this, this is a similar trade to my last video. But again, I just want to demonstrate that that wasn't just a one-off, that you have multiple opportunities but the important thing is you, you can't just you can't just swing these you know on a small amount of 
um, you know, space being created. Now that's not what this strategy is about. This, this strategy is purely just about looking at an opportunity, a rally, you know, a massive sell-off, whatever the case may be, and then you know, taking advantage of that. And that's what this is all about. So, you know, you have to look to diversify your approach. You know, so I'm not taking away what I'm doing because you know, scalp trading is my number one source. But you know, I've started adding this because you know, I'm a full-time trader now, and I used to swing before. You know, when I had a full-time job, I had to swing quite a lot because I couldn't always get the scalp and open. But again, it's just another, it's just another one of these, you know, things that you that you've got to add to what it is that you do. You know, and I'm glad I put a really wide stop loss on it because if I if I put a tight stop loss on it, you know, I'd have been stopped out. Now I have, you know, I trade with a substantial account. So, you know, I have the ability to put a really wide stop loss on if I'm placing a swing like this and I'm not going to be anywhere near my phone. So it was important. And if I didn't put a, a wide stop loss on it, you know, I'd have been stopped out. So, you know, this all comes with experience. This all comes with experience and again it's just one of these things that you know you learn through time because you see it you know i've seen this so many times that's why i was comfortable to take this short position because i've seen this so many times i've seen massive rallies like this and then i've seen you know massive sell-offs and then i've seen the recovery so it's the same thing again you know history does repeat itself time and time again and um, you know these are the things that you learn over a period of time. You know, you're not gonna to get to this level in a matter of a few weeks or a few months. And I can sense that people, you know, become very, very impatient. You know, I've been trading for, you know, almost two years. And when I say almost two years, I mean, you know, I never took a break from it. I never ever took a break from it. So you can see where we are now. <laughs> it's quarter past 11 and I started this trade at, you know, 8.28. So I held it for a long time. So there you have it guys, 1.6K. As I said, diversification is the key to an all successful business. Any successful business has to diversify. It has to diversify. So, you know, explore possibilities. That's the only way that you can identify the best way for you to trade is to explore possibilities. And then you can tailor your own kind of style to, so you can change your strategy to suit your own lifestyle, to fit around your own lifestyle. So that's what's key here. You have to have a trading style that is sustainable to your lifestyle. So guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll see you again next week for more videos. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to contact me, you can contact me on my Instagram, that's sambora.00. I've got a website. The link to the website is in my bio on my Instagram. Have a good week.